Drinking conditions are worsening by the hour in Ocean City, where wind gusts are already up to 40 miles per hour. And our team coverage continues tonight with Stefan Dingle live in Ocean City. He tells us how business owners and visitors bracing for this system now, a place where conditions are really ramping up. Stefan. Yeah, Rick and Vic, they really are. You can hear it, you can feel it, you can see my jacket kind of uh, blowing here. We've been out here all day, and by the hour, we've seen these conditions get windier, and the rain was started earlier. It's only going to get worse as night leads into morning, but people here say they are prepared. Winds whipping and rip currents on full display in Ocean City as Tropical Storm Ophelia prepares to soak this popular vacation town. It's paid for, it's bought, and I was watching the weather, and every obstacle possible tried to stop us, including the weather. Just hope it don't flood. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Gotcha. Other than that, uh, I don't know. I've never been in a tropical storm. Our first alert weather team is predicting high winds of up to 50 miles per hour, heavy bands of rain, and chances of coastal flooding with ocean waters already crashing the shore late Friday. It's not really new to us here in Ocean City. We're used to these tropical storms, hurricanes. Uh, we do a lot of preparation at our hotels and restaurants to get ready for this. So much so that patrons visiting Ocean City for the weekend still packed out the bar at this local restaurant waiting for Tropical Storm Ophelia's arrival. One woman is heeding the warning, though, with plans to head back home to West Virginia a day earlier than expected. If it's going to be crappy all day, I just want to go ahead and go home. Some people walk the boardwalk and capture the beginning of the conditions of what will be a severe storm. Some visitors we talked to are planning to stay, but have an evacuation plan just in case there is chaos on the ocean waterfront. If it does get bad, we're going to head straight out and head over the Route 50 bridge and go in land and come out 113. Yeah, we're going to listen to the weather. Gotcha. I'll be having you guys on <laughs> yeah, for sure. Now, everyone in these affected areas should continue to monitor uh, the weather, the, your app, however you get your weather alerts. Download that WJZ app. Uh, obviously, things are going to get much more intense as we go into tomorrow here in Southern Maryland and on the Eastern Shore, more particularly here in Ocean City. We'll have you covered all, all day tomorrow, starting tomorrow morning uh, at 4.30 a.m. on WJZ. I'm Stefan Dingle, live in Ocean City. We now send it to Christina Mendez, who who is live in Baltimore's Little Italy, where she's at one of three parking garages that city government officials are, are making free of charge for people who live in low-lying areas. Christina, what more do people need to know?